Hi, I'm Anthony from ComicsEatingUp.net. I'm back with Terry Hockness from HocknessComics.com. We're doing our weekly spec video pick. This week I'm on location in Orlando, Florida at the Disney Pop Resort. Um, so that's a little bit different. Another thing we're doing different this week, instead of doing thumbs up, thumbs down on books, we're doing our top five picks of the week. So this format's going to be a little bit different. Let us know in the comments section what you think. So Terry, do you want to get us started? Thanks for tuning in to watch our weekly videos where we try to help you with your investing and comic book speculating needs. Some of you really are on top of this and, and know what to do, but some of you really need help and that's what we're here for. We want to give you assistance and use our advice from you know the thousands of books that we have dealt with and watched over the years, um, heat up or not heat up. Terry Hockness and I have both been doing this for quite a few years. Terry runs HockmasComics.com. I run ComicsEatingUp.net. Uh, ComicsEatingUp.net has been around for over four years. We do daily posts on Tuesday night. That's our big night. Uh, we do weekly spec picks. Uh, both myself and Agent Poyo do picks of the books that we think are going to heat up. Uh, they're usually different because uh, Poyo focuses on Marvel and DC stuff and some indie, whereas I focus more on independent and small press books. And we also have Mel V, who does the variant picks of the week, and he's pretty good at picking the hot variants for the week. Um, in addition to that, we do uh, free comics giveaways. We've given away uh, 62 variants last year. Um, these are variant covers that are donated to us by sponsors, and uh, we send those right out to the winners of the books. Uh, we have the Wednesday night open forum, which is a pretty much a free-for-all. Talk about anything you want, ask for advice. Um, talk about other books that are not on the on the list or um, anything else that's heating up or any movie news or anything like that. We do do daily posts where we talk about any movie news or TV news that comes out, um, and we correlate those with the books that are um, related to them. So that's pretty much it, what Comics Heating Up that that's about. Terry, why don't you tell us what Hawkness Comics is all about? And just a few quick things about my site, hawknesscomics.com, that is my last name. Um, it's a site that is dedicated completely to comic book collecting, comic book history. And some of the features that I do every week, I just want to make sure that you're aware of. One of the most popular features I do is called the Hawkness Gamble. I rank and rate all the new releases each week. And the ones that get the highest rating are the ones that I think have the best chance of heating up either overnight or perhaps over the next six months or even long term. So I rank all the new releases and all the potential hot books that way. And you can check this out on my website, hawknesscomics.com. Every week it's updated. And of course you can go back and look at old um, weekly surveys to see how things did go. And uh, both me and Anthony, we, we usually get it right. And so we're glad you're here and we really hope that we can help you. A couple other features that I do is the big three, where I take all the new releases of the week. There's usually about 500 new comics that come out every week. And I pick basically my three biggest picks, usually the books that I think have the best chance to heat up. Okay, well now let's jump in and look at what biggest uh, thumbs up books are of the week. I mean, if I give the book a likely five or less, then I really don't think it has a chance of heating up. Why is that? Well, it has to do with either stores have simply ordered enough that there's not really any extra hype. There's no reason for this book to heat up. There's not going to be a rush of people needing multiple copies of it and it's likely just something you'll enjoy reading but there's really no reason for it over the next few months to have a reason to heat up. The only books that do heat up are ones that something important happens to the book that we need to have it, a first appearance, key issue, a death, a popular artist, or it has to do with the print run. If stores did not order enough for the demand, well, that's you can have an overnight hit. This happens usually with variants, the rarest variants, the best cover artwork, and first appearances, and the rarest indie books. These are books that a lot of stores don't order. Therefore, these books heat up overnight online because a lot of collectors who want these books could not even get them in their local city at the comic shop because a lot of comic shops do not order these books. So that's kind of the main criteria you have to look for why books heat up or why they don't. So here's picks for the week of February 8th, 2017. The first one is Unleashed number three. This is only a mini series, but Amigo Press has very small print run. The print run of this one could be less than a thousand copies, and just like their title, Straight Jacket has a good chance to heat up, and there's, it's tied into a movie, so there could be long term interest in this. And again, small publisher, a lot of stores don't order it, so it could heat up overnight. Probably not a lot, but a little bit, so we give it a thumbs up. 
My number one pick of the week is All New Fathom, Volume 2, Number 1, the Incentive Michael Turner variant cover. Michael Turner was a very popular artist who passed away back in 2008. In fact, Aspen Comics still pumps out Michael Turner covers for different books. However, uh, this is one of his original creations and it's going back to his roots. So I'm definitely giving this one a thumbs up if you can get it. Boom Studios relaunches Steven Universe based on the popular TV cartoon series. So this is not the first series. Due to that, it's not as likely to heat up, but it still has a chance because all the past issues have heated up. The print run is not too high. I think this still has a pretty good chance. So I'm giving Steven Universe a thumbs up. It's worth the gamble to pick up some copies of this one. Steven Universe Volume 2 Number 1 is also on my list. However, I'm a little bit more cautious about this one. Uh, the first series caught lightning in a bottle. Not sure they're going to be able to do it a second time around. Uh, it's probably going to have a bigger print run than the first series did. So keep an eye on it. Know where this is. Um, it's one of those books that I'd rather know where to buy them um, and who has them than buy them right off the bat. Dynamite Comics it gives us Red Sonia number two. They've got to deal with J. Scott Campbell. He's been doing the uh, rare virgin covers for this series, and that happens on issue number two. It's a 1 in 40 ratio variant. Almost no stores will order 40 copies of this book. This will be a very rare Campbell variant, and it's a virgin cover, meaning there's no logo on the cover. So this could be a good long-term pick. Red Sonia is also on my list, but don't just look for the Virgin Incentive cover. Also look for the regular J. Scott Campbell cover. Uh, this is one of those books just to grab and hold on to. Um, J. Scott Campbell covers seem to hold value, so it's worth a shot. At $3.99, it's not a big gamble. Terminal Protocol is a one-shot comic from Scout Comics. Now, I don't usually like to pick one shot because, I mean, there's not really any reason for it to heat up. But Scout Comics is one of those publishers that's sort of got a lot of buzz and heat right now and therefore usually people are hunting out these books and a lot of retailers again don't order scout comics so this could be an overnight hit if copies just dry up so i'll give it a thumbs up it's my pick of the week in fact I'm not so hot on this one. However, I'm looking at Death Be Damned number one. It's got a pretty deadly sixth gun feel to it. It's a classic Western revenge tale. I'm all over this one. Definitely looks good. Um, I'm going to be checking this one out. I'm giving this one a thumbs up. And my other pick of the week is Fisher number one from Vault Comics. And again, the same story here. Very small publisher. Almost nobody will order this book. So if there's any buzz for this book at all, people trying to find copies online, they might not find any. This could make this an overnight hit if you just can't find it. I'm a big Tim Daniel fan, so Fisher number one is definitely on my list. I loved Enormous. I liked Atoll. Um, so I'm definitely giving this one a thumbs up as well. All the other number ones out this week could be great reads, but I don't recommend them as likely hot picks because there should be enough copies to go around for general readers. All right, thanks for watching, and leave us some comments. And let us know what you think on this format of our video each week, and we thank you again for watching, and we'll see you again next week.